Who am I? You sure you want to know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. If somebody said it was a happy little tale, if somebody told you I was just your average ordinary guy not a care in the world, somebody lied. But let me assure you, this, like any story worth telling, is all about a girl. That girl. The girl next door. Mary Jane Watson. The woman I've loved since before I even liked girls. I'd like to tell you that's me next to her. The heck, I'd even take him. <laughs> That's me. Tell them to stop, please! Stop! Hey! Stop the bus! Stop the bus! Stop! They've been chasing us since Woodhaven Boulevard. Thank you. Sorry. I'm late. Don't even think about it. of Columbia University Science Department, so behave accordingly. Let's not have a repeat of our trip to the planetarium. Come on, people, let's stay together, proceed up the steps, and into the building. Uh, you know, Charles, can we drive around the corner, please? Why? The entrance is right there. Dad, these are public school kids. I'm not showing up for the field trip in the rolls. What, you want me to trade in my car for a Jetta just because you flunked out of every private school I ever sent you it to? It wasn't for me. Of course it was. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are. I'm not ashamed of who I am. Just... Just what I am. You get it. Dee! Hi, Harry. Hey, Harry! You be needing this? Thanks, Dad. Uh, Peter, may I introduce my father, Norman Osborne? I heard so much about you. Great honor to meet you, sir. Harry tells me you're quite the science whiz. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. I read all your research on nanotechnology. Really brilliant. And you understood it? Yes, I, I wrote a paper on it. Impressive. Your parents must be very proud. If I live with my aunt and uncle, they are proud. Hey, you two! Let's move! Nice to meet you. Yeah, hope to see you again. Yeah. He doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, not if you're a genius. I think he wants to adopt you. 